this uh, practice video on uh, phase sequence as i said this is the most important part of uh, chapter one and two so you need to master and understand how to draw this phase diagram first of all we are going to have a look on uh, a reference because every time we have to draw we have to check up on our reference and in this case it's eb and we are dealing with a pps which is a positive phase sequence another way to interpret it is to say a b c so i repeat a b c again why to do that because if my reference change i can always move around for instance, in this case, our reference is B. Therefore, I start with my reference, which is B at minus 10. The speed between each conductor is 120. So anytime I have to place the first three vectors, I place them in a clockwise direction. Therefore, I need to subtract an angle of minus 120 every time I have to move to the next vector. So if B is uh, the reference, knowing that we need to have a speed of 120 between each vector, therefore, the next one will be C. Can you see if you follow that order? So if you take minus 10, minus 120, then we're going to have an angle of minus 180. Then uh, after C, you must have again a speed of 120. Once again, you take minus 30 minus 120 which will give us an angle of minus 250 this angle is a big angle so if you punch your calculator 220 at the angle of uh, minus 250 the calculator itself is going to give you an angle a smaller angle and that smaller angle is going to be 110 110 and minus 250 they are the same okay it's just in difference of uh, the reading and then we have a split of uh, 120 between each other once uh, we're done putting the first three vector now we can go in a anti-clockwise direction and once we're done with the first uh, we follow the order of ABC our reference in this case was B the next vector it's B it's C then the following it's A can you see so if I come here from my reference I can see that the next one it's C then the following one it's A can you see that so we follow that order B then C then A after doing that now you need to do the second step to go in a anti-clockwise direction to make sure that the line voltage are, are leading their corresponding phase voltage so we need to make sure that the line voltage leads They are corresponding phase voltage by how much by uh, 30 degrees okay that's the second step so once you come here you find this is a phase voltage b what is uh, the corresponding line voltage to b the corresponding line voltage is 
BC. So the vector BC must lead the vector B by 30 degrees. So if you take minus 10 plus 30, so you'll find that your vector BC is at the angle of 20 because line must lead the phase. So once you move again, you meet a phase uh, vector. Therefore, the line will be in front of it because it needs to lead. But what is the corresponding line voltage to A? It, uh, a, volt a, it a B. And the split between the two is how much? 30. Split 30, then AB is going to be at 140. So you take 110 plus 30. And then you move again. Once you are coming in this direction, you see you have a phase C. Therefore, the line must come before it. But what is the corresponding line to C? It's uh, CA. That is corresponding line voltage. Therefore, a split of 30. So this would be at the angle of minus 100. So you take and minus 130 plus 30. And therefore, when it comes to a NPS, which is a negative phase sequence, we are having a look on uh, CBA and our reference is B. So therefore, we repeat CBA so that we can, it's going to be easy for us to know what's going to be next. So our reference is B. First of all, you put our B in our car coordinate plane. And then uh, we know that our first step is to put the three first vector in a clockwise direction with a split of 120. Therefore, we're going to subtract 120 from where you are to where you are going every time. So that's going to make that split. So the split is 120 from this. We need to place another one, it's 120. So the next one will be the vector A. Therefore, if you take minus 10, minus 120, the vector A will be at minus 130. And then after A, we're gonna have the vector C. And then the split is for how much? 120, so you take minus 130, minus 120 okay so you're gonna have an angle of minus 250 which is uh, a correct angle but it's big we need to have an angle that is gonna be lesser than 2 uh, 180 so once you pass your calculator 220 at the angle of minus 250 the calculator will give you a smaller angle and that smaller angle is gonna be 110 so an angle of 110 and the angle of minus 250 they are similar it's just the reading okay and displayed it always for 120 after placing uh, the first three vector what is going to be our next step our next step because we are dealing with a negative phase sequence our second step is to go in a anti-clockwise direction and to make sure that the line voltage legs legs uh, their phase their corresponding phase voltage with a pps the line lead but uh, with a nps the line leg for how much for 30 degrees okay so if i come here i need to go in a anti-clockwise direction but i must make sure that the line are le legging their corresponding phase so if you start here we can see that this is a vector b the corresponding line is going to be what it uh, bc but bc must leg bc must come where must come behind it so that when i come here i can see that bc leg b okay and then the split is for how much 30 so you take minus 10 minus 30 
BC is going to be at the angle of uh, minus 40. So when you are coming, you can see that you meet BC. BC is leaking the, the corresponding phase. Okay. And then you move. You meet here. You can see that this is the vector C. The vector C, the corresponding uh, uh, line voltage is CA. So CA must lag the phase. So when you come here, you can see that it's going to be 30. So if you take 110 minus 30, so you're going to have a vector of uh, uh, 80 degrees. So 110 minus 30, you're going to have CA at 80. Then you move again. You come here, you meet uh, a vector A. A is a phase. So the line of uh, A is what? The line, the corresponding line is AB. So the vector AB must come behind it, must come before it. Okay? So the speed is 30. So therefore, AB is going to be at minus 50 because you take minus 30, minus minus 130 minus 30 so it's going to be minus 150 so that will be your line voltage so that's it i will do another example where the reference will be a line voltage and then you will see how to work out with them with them the concept still the same the first three vectors you put them in a clockwise direction with a speed of 120 but the last three vector you put them in a anti-clockwise direction but make sure that the line is a lead or leg their voltage corresponding phase voltage according to which phase sequencing you are dealing with with a pps the line lead with nps the line leg and then and once again this is a special case what new here is that our reference is now a line voltage for this case you don't need to stress identify which phase sequence you are you want to draw and then uh, in this case we can see the pps a a negative phase sequence so you expect to have cba but as i said you need to know for each phase as each um, its own um, corresponding line voltage for C you have CA for B you have a corresponding line of BC and then for A you have a corresponding line voltage for AB so in this case our reference is BC then you come here you say your reference it BC and then you draw BC as the reference so always when you're putting the first three vector no matter if it's a line or a phase put them in a and in a clockwise direction and you need to subtract 120 from where you are to the next one so since BC is there the next one will be a b so we take zero from where we are minus 120 and then uh, c a will be the next one so as you can see from the reference the next one is a b and then the next one will be c a so we take minus 120 minus 120 it's going to give you minus 240 if you punch it in your calculator 220 at the angle of minus 240 it's going to give you an angle which is going to be lesser than 180 and then from that once you are done now you change you go into a anti-clockwise direction to make sure that now the line voltage must lag their phase their corresponding phase so let's check that so we have a 30 degrees there that we need to make sure that we have 30 degrees speed between the two 
and now we can see that the line BC needs to leg the phase B that's what a negative phase sequence we need to do is to make sure that BC leg the corresponding phase like in this case when you are coming you can see that CA is already the phase vector that we meet so we expect the phase to be in front of it so that the line will leg it can you see and therefore you can see that this guy leg it when you are coming from this to that the first thing that you meet is a line therefore the phase must come before it so that the line will leg the phase and that it okay so you do the same for the positive phase sequence positive phase sequence we know that um, the corresponding line is a b the corresponding line to b is b c the corresponding line is c a okay so therefore when you start drawing you start with the reference you go in a clockwise direction always when, when you want to put the first three and then you need to subtract 180 from where you are to the next one so you are there the reference is given as bc the next one will be ca and therefore you see you have your ca after ca the next one will be ab and then you can check your 120 then you have ab after doing this after doing this now you go into a anti-clockwise direction but make sure that the line lead their phase why because you are dealing with a positive phase sequence if a positive phase sequence the line must always lead their respective phase so when i'm coming here if i start here i can see that this is a line so the line this line need to lead its corresponding phase so if i have to, if the line need to lead therefore the phase must come here somewhere there so that the line will lead the phase the line will lead the phase when you are coming here you meet the phase and then after 30 degrees you meet the corresponding phase to bc can you see like that so when you come here you can see that I have a 30 degrees there I have my B end because I want to make sure that BC must lead you did the same AB is in front so A will be B end because I want to make sure that AB lead A for the, by date and then you do the same for CA, CA was in front so C must come behind so that my CA is going to lead the thing is when you are reading in that anti-clockwise direction when you are coming the first thing you meet is a phase but the corresponding line will lead it of date 